Hey, this is Jason Blevins with the Painted Lines for Delaware TV, Channel 28. I'm here with Lisa Willis, assistant coach for the Westchester Knicks. Thanks for sitting down with us today. Absolutely. So uh, Lisa is a former WNBA player, a gold medalist with Team USA, and now uh, I I believe you've you've made some history with the with the Knicks organization. Yes. Uh, yes. You bring a uh, a three and D uh, skill set and focus. Mm -hmm. Done some research on you. Um, watched some video from from you uh, last year. You were a head coach of a uh, uh, a pretty uh, high level program in uh, in Maryland, TC Williams. So uh, first, let's talk about what you're going to bring to this Westchester Knicks team. Um, the biggest thing I want to bring is is experience. Um, there's a lot of skills, and you know I help with shooting, um, defense, all that stuff. But a lot of what I like to bring is the mentality. I've been where they want to be, uh, where they want to go. Um, whether it's in the NBA, I played in the W, I played overseas as well, um, and it's it's just a different mindset that I'm trying to help them cultivate in becoming a professional, and then the skill set to go along with that. So what do you think is the biggest um, challenge for, an, uh, for a G League player when they're trying to make that leap? They've probably been stars at the, at, the, right. uh, at the collegiate level. Now they're trying to make that big leap to the NBA. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a huge leap. And I think they need to understand what the whole point of the G League is. You know, it's, it's there. It's a league to help them develop right here in their affiliate's backyard. Um, so they have the opportunity to basically just showcase all the things that they can bring to the table um, and some of the things that they can't, it's like, okay, let's work them out, let's get better, um, and let's really just try to develop you as the player that you'll be at the next level. Oftentimes, um, players got to the G League off of their scoring abilities, but once they get to the G League, it's like we're kind of telling them, we don't need you to score, we need you to be everything else because we're already paying our score a hundred million dollars, you know. So, helping them with their mindset—I mean, that's that's critical. Yeah, and I think one of the things I hear when I talk to coaches is, you have to pop at this level to to even have a chance at the next level. Mm -hmm. However, you need to show that you can be a role player at the next level because they're not going to put the ball in your hands. For right. example, Marielle Shayok, who's playing with the Sixers tonight mm -hmm. in Madison Square Garden, he's he's scoring thirty plus a game right. down here, but. Uh, the coaches here are saying we need you to do that with less dribbles before you get a shot off. We need the, you to be more efficient. So those are the those are the key little things. And some of the, as a player, you not everything you brought to a team showed up in a classic box score, right? Right. right. So so what kind of things do you focus on with a player to sort of help them see that it's not all about those counting stats? Right. Um, I mean, we we stay on the guys about deflections. Like it doesn't show up in the game box scores but we have our guys behind the bench you know seeing how many deflections we got that's a big deal how many passes are we getting because when we when we get a certain amount of passes you know that equates to a, a victory we've just seen that you know we're winning when we pass the ball let's say 175 times sort of the good the great right, concept exactly exactly and that's that's a really big deal because I mean everybody can pretty much shoot right now but it's like the, the rhythm and the flow of the game is a little bit better if you make that good to great pass. One, because it makes the defense have to play just another pass, you know, and those tend to add up. So for a, for a defensive guard as you were, how important is it to keep that opposing ball handler from getting downhill, keeping them east to west? Oh my goodness. Like these guys, <laughs> these guys have like a different gear. So they'll be going downhill really quickly, and then you can see their body shift into a different gear mid-stride. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like one of our guys, um, Kadeem Allen, he does it very well. And that's something that I'm not used to seeing on the girls' side. But it's like, once they get that full steam, I mean, we're in trouble. So we try to, we try to ice some things and keep it on one side. We try to get to our help position so that we can make them pick up the ball a little bit earlier and things of that nature. But downhill is is a beast of its own. Yeah. So um, I want to. Uh, you are from uh, California. Mm -hmm. Huge basketball uh, tradition, uh, especially in Long Beach. Um, 
ha, do you have any visibility or any awareness of the basketball tradition here in Wilmington, Delaware? I do not know. I am not aware of it. So I'm going to throw two WNBA players who went to school about two miles from here. Deladon. Elena Deladon. Okay. And uh, Val Whiting, who's, who's actually bit. my, I'm going I'm to tell a little story here for Delaware TV. My first sports hero growing up, before I started watching the, the, the NBA or the NFL, was Val Whiting. Okay. So I, I went to uh, school with, uh, with a friend who had three older sisters. We went to all the high school basketball games. Val Whiting was a, a star at Stanford um, and yeah. then went on to the WNBA. Right. And uh, we have, a, we have a, a long history here in Wilmington outside of Philadelphia of putting players in both the, the NBA, uh, Division One, and, and, awesome. and the WNBA. So That's awesome. what, uh, what's what been your reception like from the players? Do they, do they sort of respond to your accomplishments? Or is it sort of you have to prove yourself in that first few hours together that you know your stuff? No, like they, the respect is there. Like I said, um, whether it's on the W side or the NBA side or uh, Europe, like I've done what I've done, you know, and they respect those accolades. Like those don't lie. Um, to a certain extent, basketball is basketball. So when it comes to IQ, I can help you with that. Um, and so they're impressed. Um, they know that I'm a shooter, and so they always try to get me out there to shoot, but my knees are bad, that ball is heavy, and the three-point line is like 10 miles away from the basket. So before the season it's is It's amazing up, how, how big a difference two feet can make, right? Oh, man, with, with the men's ball yeah. and no knees, yes. When I was in my prime, that was nothing. But again, good knees, women's ball. So I'm, I'm definitely working on my upper body strength with, with my passes and stuff. But, but no, they receive me very well. They come to me, they pull me to the side um, and ask me questions about the offense, about their personal game, um, if I could help them with their shooting. So um, it's been nothing but love. That's great. So uh, I'm going to finish with um, what does success look like for you a year from now? Let's say next uh, April as the G League season ends, April, May. And what does it look like three years from now for you? I like coaching in the G League. I, I like doing that. Um, a year from now, I would love to still be here with the Westchester Knicks. Um, I know there's a lot of turnover and players and coaches, uh, they go from team to team. I like New York, you know, so success would be still being here with the Westchester Knicks because that means that you know, they see the value after, you know, you, you bring me in on blind faith. You think that I can do a good job. You bring me back because I've shown you that I can do a good job. Um, so that would be, that would be success for me. Um, four years from now, that's really difficult because there's a lot of things within professional basketball that I like to do um, on and off the court. And so um, I honestly am just trying to be present in the moment listen to i mean do my best listen to where god orders my steps and if i'm still here with the westchester knicks that would be totally awesome just because this is a the the personalities are a little bit different at the nba level would i love to work with the new york knicks absolutely but um at this the, level as as a two-way media person myself being here in the G League and at the NBA is definitely a different vibe. Absolutely, and I and I like this vibe. I mean, the NBA is the highest level, and so that would be a lovely accomplishment. But I really like mentoring these guys. So um, a year from now, Westchester, please bring me back. Um, four years, I can't even call it. Awesome. Uh, well, with that, I uh, appreciate you coming you. on before the game. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Not Thank too you. much luck, uh, I think. No, we, we want it. We want it. You guys want it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you want it. Yeah. We'll see who wants it most. Uh, uh, true. Thanks for coming on. No problem. Thanks, Thank Lisa. You.